This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, good morning. So in the last class we have seen the data source, how we can create it for the SSAs we have seen. And we have seen the data source view also. It's a collection of tables from the underlying data sources. We can take only metadata and we can make the relationship. We can we, we also seen what is the named calculation for the table and named query also we have seen as part of the data source view. And we are after this, we need to go and create a cube. Why we need to go for why we need to create a cube that we are going to see in the in the today's class. Let me open that project, whatever we have created in the last class. Let it open. This is what we have seen in the last class. And I'm just opening SSMS also. Let it open that also. So here we have it looks like a star schema here also. Now I wanted to talk about this cube. Why we need to go and use this cube is and Volap cube is a multi-dimensional database that is optimized for the data warehouse only for analytics purpose only. So instead of taking the data from the data warehouse, you can take the data from the cube also. If you take the data from the cube, what happens is it improves the performance of the pulling. So if you if, if you have a report here, that report may take the directly from from the cube, or you can also take the data from this place also. But instead of taking this approach, if you can go in this approach, then it is going to be uh, the report performance will be more for analytics for uh, for analytics point of view, and it is going to be pre-summarized. The cube data is going to be pre-summarized, so it is uh, it is not required to do the aggregation and uh, again and again. So since it is pre-summarized, uh, the performance will be more when you compare with the normal database. So that is what it is there here. Cubes are often pre-summarized across the dimensions to directly improve the query time over the relational databases. So when you compare with the relational databases, it, it gives more performance. And uh, the query which we are going to use to pull the data from the cube or to build the cube, we are going to use the language called MDX. That is multi-dimensional expression. That is multi-dimensional expression. We are going to use it. And to create a cube in SSAs, there should be at least one major group and one dimension table. And make sure to have the relationship between the two tables. Then only we can make a cube. Otherwise, it is not possible to create a cube. And uh, if this is not the case, then the cube is not possible to process it. So if you if you are not able to process it, then the, there will be no cube exists in the a database or in the in in the SSAs instance. So this one, this this point is very important to build this one, and uh, we can keep one single dimension table. I'm saying here, at least one one major group, one dimension table. So in real time, it is not at all possible to keep only one single dimension. We are going to have multiple dimensions. So avoid using single dimension table to create a cube. So never exists in the real time. Okay, so interview point of view only this this point you can take it, but in general you will be having multiple dimensions. 
so there is a various ways to various ways are there to create the um, cube how i'm going to create the cube how i'm going to do in general the way i feel uh, like you know the way i'm going to create it uh, first creating empty cube is always the recommended option and i'm going to create a first empty cube even if there is a waste okay so let's see how we are going to build it so we understand that the purpose of this cube instead of the database and now we are going to see how we can create a major how we can create a cube so i told you to have the cube you need to have at least one major group and we should know how to create a major group and one dimension table you should know how to create a one dimension table and then uh, making relationship between them then how we are going to how we are going to uh, process the date how we are going to process the cube that we are going to see now let's go to here i have already taken some of the tables in the data source view if i wanted to create a cube then you need to make sure you need to take the dimension table from the data source view only from the data source view only the uh, tables will come to the cube let's go here i'm going to create an empty cube right click on the cubes hit on new cube so what cube is going to do it is it is it is having here so you select the data source view and select the tables for that cube and then set uh, it appropriate set set its properties and you can also opt to create a, a cube without a using a data source also so you can understand it what we are going to see practically what uh, what else is there that we are going to see in the cube let me hit on next so i wanted to create a, an empty cube i wanted to create an empty cube i don't want to go with the existed table let's go and choose this uh, empty cube hit on next and it is asking what data source you wanted to take what data source you wanted to take to build the cube so you can choose the data source view and hit on next this is the name of the cube if you observe here in the name of the cube you can see the major groups and dimensions so cube means collection of major groups and uh, dimensions is known as a cube and let me hit on finish so no major group available no dimension is available right now in this cube so when now it, now cube is created here and if you try to if you try to create this cube physically in a sql server analysis services instance then that is not possible to do it so it is having it is having an error here okay so at least uh, one dimension and one major group is required to do it so how it is going to be possible let me show you then we need to talk about this uh, uh, major groups so major group at least one major group is required okay so we can say collection of majors is known as a major group every fact table will be treated as a one major group if i have a multiple fact tables in the data source view for example if you see here i'm having one fact table so i can treat I, even i can move from uh, one page to other page here so from this page to this page i can move meaning data source view to data cube uh, from the, to cube also we can move i can treat uh, that entire fact internet sales as a one group or collection of majors as a one group i'm just going to take the entire table here right click on here there is a major group i'm just going to hit on major group so i wanted to treat this fact internet sales as a major group let me select that and hit on okay now it is it is coming to here now we are having fact internet sales here okay this is the this is the uh, major group i have taken the table entire table and i don't need all these key columns i can uh, take out all these key columns if you wanted to take out so instead of that if you wanted to uh, keep only directly major you can keep the major also give me a moment and then i wanted to add the dimension table also i wanted to add the dimension table also but it is not getting yeah 
is there intel sense the trademark has to go it's not going the trademark let's say build a session okay so the error it is coming now is uh, the relationship is not existed it is saying no dimension what is the problem here is no dimension relationship exists with this fact table the major group fact internet sales does not related to any dimension now we need to talk about the dimension here so dimension tables uh, database dimensions and cube dimensions we are going to have and uh, you can see a database dimensions means whatever the date whatever the dimensions are there in the dimensions folder in the solution explorer can be treated as a, a database dimension if you see here there is a database dimensions folder whatever the dimensions are there in the, this particular folder that comes under the database dimensions that comes under the database dimensions and we can add uh, we can add the dimensions uh, whatever the dimensions you wanted to add to this dimensions folder we can add it let's uh, let's take this uh, uh, let's say a dim promotion i'm going to take it or dim customer whatever the table you wanted to take it we can take so i'm just going to add the database dimensions here right click on the dimensions folder hit a new dimension hit on next and use an existing table hit on next so what is the dimension table you wanted to choose i wanted to take the dim customer table and uh, everything just leave it as this by default options let me hit on next and uh, if you wanted to take the fields you can take i wanted to take let's say a uh, first name last name and uh, i'm just going to take the english education let me hit on next and it is getting the fields also into this table i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to say it is a dim customer leave it as it is hit on finish now the dimension table came to here and i wanted to add this dimension table into the cube so cube dimensions is different and uh, a database dimensions is different now i'm going to take the cube dimension here so cube dimension means whatever the dimension is there under the cube so here this is the place if the dimensions are there here whatever the dimensions are there here these dimensions comes under this kind of dimensions are uh, comes under the cube dimensions we can say okay so notice there clearly the de definition whatever the dimensions are added to the cube dimensions is known as a cube dimension and we can add the cube dimension only if it is available in the dimensions folder otherwise we cannot ex we cannot uh, add it if it is not possible to add it to here then make sure that is not available in the dimensions folder so if it is available in a dimensions folder then only we can add and again if it is not available here then you, you need to take it from the data source view from the data source view it will come to this place from this place to this place it will come and uh, from the database it will come into the data source view this is the direction of this uh, dimensions which are going to be part of your cube let's go and uh, right click on this dimensions there is an option called add cube dimension hit on add cube dimension take the dim customer table hit on ok now it is going to have the relationship between these two tables automatically because it is already created a relationship in the data source view since the data relationships are already existed in the data source view relationships are getting directly in the cube also that is possible to get it so note also i have given here if the relationship is existed in the data source view uh, then we can get the same relationship into the a uh, cube same relationship into the cube it is going to get it now i'm going to deploy this one let's save this let's save this code once you save the code then uh, we need to make it we need to make it available in the sql server analysis services instance then only uh, then only uh, like you know other people or other reporting tools can go and access it otherwise it is not possible to access so this one is not going to uh, this one is not going to i mean to say this cube cube is not going to store the data here when you are doing the development but when you are uh, when you are uh, deploying into the analysis services then only it is going to be then only it is going to be available 
in the design mode you're going to have only metadata only structure only is be there so now we are supposed to do the format we are supposed to do a deployment right click on this project let's go to the properties under properties there is a deployment so in the deployment mode we are having the different options here i'm just going to take the deployment mode is uh, I'll, I'll talk about all these things later for time being the processing option i wanted to take the full and the server name we need to make sure to provide the server name so in real time it is very very important to know about it to where you are processing is it the development server or is it the production server you need to be very care if you are doing the processing okay so let me hit on apply and hit on okay and uh, let's save this one right click on it i'm just going to hit on process okay so the steps are there here even how it is going to be deployed uh, note note is not available like you know so you have to follow this video only so previously we used to give a note to write as part of the sessions but we are not giving the practical note you have to go through this video sessions and you need to do it so right click on this project and hit on process and hit on yes before doing this is yes, let's go here let me connect to the analysis services engine we can connect here analysis services oh my god i don't have a multi-dimensional model i need to install it i have a tabular model okay so it will not take much time So I'm just going to I'm just going to do want to like to continue. Uh, let's leave it. I'm just going to install multi-dimensional model. So let me go here. There is a software C drive 2019 evaluation setup. So in my system, by default, I'm having a tabular model, the default instance. I hope you guys may be having a multi-dimensional model directly so you no need to go and install it if it is available so that i i'll, I'll tell you that change how can you identify whether it is a tabular model or a multi-dimensional model let's hit on installation hit on new sql server installation it's just two three five two to five minutes only it is going to take to install Let me cancel it. I don't want to do it. But I wanted to save this.
hit on next. So this time I'm going to I'm going to add to the existing not existing feature. New installation only. Hit on next. Evaluation version. Accept the license terms. We are not going to install all the services. We are going to install only analysis services. Only check analysis services only. Do not take all the uh, any other things when you at when you installing second time. It's not required. And hit on next. So we need to give the instance name. So instance name I wanted to give multi. So since it is a multi dimensional model, I'm just giving the instance name as a multi. Let's click on next. Hit on next and choose the multi dimensional model. Add current user. If you already installed with the multi dimensional model, no need to install it. So that time you need to go with the tabular model. If you wanted to know about the tabular model, if you need. Okay, otherwise it's not required to install anything. Let's hit on next. Hit on install. Taking little more time than expected.
now it's a, it is completed successfully let's hit on close that's all now we need to change the server name because uh, it is not connected to uh, rudrasoft under the under, under the main server there is a one more instance so how we are going to connect uh, with sql server management studio that i'll show you then we'll see how we can uh, deploy how we can deploy this cape to that particular place Give me one minute, please. Yeah, I'm back. So analysis services. If it is a tabular model, how it is going to be there that I'm going to show you. So tabular model symbol will be like this. This symbol is the tabular model. And uh, again, I'm connecting to analysis services. So this time I'm going to pass. Uh, I'm going to use instance that is multi and hit and connect. So these two are the two different uh, options you can see. This is a tabular model, this symbol, and this symbol is a multi-dimensional model. So we are seeing as part of the sessions, we are going to see multi-dimensional model. So this is the server name we need to provide it. So if you expand this databases, nothing is available. So I'm going to take the same server name to here. Let's right click on the project, hit on properties, Go to your uh, server name. So server name we need to give instance name also that is multi. So this is the entire thing is the server name. Hit on OK. And uh, I'm just going to deploy it. And I'm, I'm just going to uh, do the deployment and processing. So I'll talk about what is this deployment and processing later. Let's do it uh, directly. And it is asking the password here. So we need to provide the password when you open the first time. That is the impersonation. It is going to say we already seen that impersonation. It's not responding. Little slow it is.
it's not responding for me what is this Now it is coming. Let's say password. You can provide the password and hit on OK. So if you observe here in the bottom, it is doing deployment and processing. I'll talk about this deployment and processing. And uh, I'm just going to maximize this and hit on run. Yeah, this is the expected error only. Okay, I'll do one thing. As per the note, uh, taking this dim customer table is not the right option right now. I'll take about it later. because I have to make it uniqueness and you will get much more difficult if I go and uh, take it right now here. So let me, I'm just going to take out this table from here. So I'm just going to add one more dimension table that is the dim currency table. It's a little faster, let me add it. Add existing table and the table is, uh, table is dim currency table, let's next. And I wanted to take the currency name, hit on next and hit on finish. The same table, I'm going to bring it into the cube. Let's right click on it, add dimension. I'm going to take the dimension called dim custom, dim currency, hit on okay. So this is not, this is not, uh, this is not there in the cube. If it is there in the cube, then you can see the color here. Okay, so this is the data source we only, so uh, we cannot uh, take out from here, so it will be available. It will be visible for you. So previously it was not there. So if you remove it, it is not going to show you. But right now it is having that uh, visibility here. That's not a problem. So I wanted to take this uh, dim currency table. It was there here when I add the currency table into this one. Now the currency dim currency table is there here. If I deploy, if I deploy this one, let's go and process it again. Let me hit on S. Yes. Hit on enter. This is known error. So we need to have the access. We need to have the access. Why customer table still it is having? only currency table. Let me rebuild this one. But that error is only I have to get, uh, what I say, there is a access issue only I have to get it. Now it is showing for the dim customer also, that's not a problem, let's see 
somewhere you can find uh, access related issue whatever the account you are whatever the account you are using if that account is not having the reading access then it is not going to get it let's go to your databases hit on hit on a database engine to connect expand this uh, security logins and this is the name double click on it so this is the name we are using at, at the time of uh, impersonation and user mapping we need to choose i am taking adventure adventure works uh, not lt 2019 and this is going to take for reading purpose reading only reading you can take and even uh, a data writer also you can take it let me hit on okay so reading permission is required from this database then only it is going to get it because whatever the account we are using here that account uh, should have the reading access then only we can read the data from particular database the current operation was another operation transaction failed Let's do one thing. Go here. Refresh it. Let me take out this database. I can fix that issue with the dim customer table because you need to uh, you need to wait for some time. Then only it will be easy for you to understand. Let's do this again. Let me hit on run. Oh my God. You're not taking this table. So when you practice first do not take the dim customer table. Uh, there is a, some settings is required to go and work with that. Oh my God. It was somewhere it was saved. This project was saved somewhere. So that is getting a problem here. dim customer also it is taking so that is the problem Give me a moment.
Yeah, finally, I just taken out that completely dim customer table outside. So now I'm able to see, I'm able to process the data. So once you process it, uh, you can find it in a SQL Server Management Studio. If you refresh this one, you can find the database that is the SQL SSAS project. And the cube name we have taken that is the Adventure Works uh, 2019. And if you wanted to browse that, uh, if you wanted to validate the data here also, we can use there is a in, there is an option called the browser. So using the browser, we can uh, drag and drop the data. We can drag and drop the fields to validate it. From the majors group, you can expand and you can take this uh, a sales amount here from the dim currency table. I'm taking a currency name. Hit on execute this query. It is showing some data here. It is showing some data. So if you wanted to make sure whether this data is perfect or not, you can use this particular code on top of this database. So to say whether this database, whether this particular data is correct or not. So Adventure Works uh, 2019, you can choose and hit a new query. And we can write the code to validate whether these numbers are perfect or not. So validation is also important. Now if you execute this, then it is going to show you for Aston Aston dollars it is having 9051. So you can also see in the cube 9051988 you can see here same thing. And US dollar 1469 is there for US dollar you can see the same numbers. So we already aware of how we can join the two tables uh, uh, when you are taking data from uh, two tables. So which tables we need to take is if you go and see this uh, structure you can understand on what table we are to uh, on what basis you are doing it. So based on that only we can decide it. So instead of taking one dimension, you can also take uh, one more dimension because uh, it is saying that avoid uh, cube with a single dimension and we can add one more dimension. Let me add uh, dim product table. I don't go with the customer now. So I'll go with customer later some point of time. Let me take uh, yeah, dim product details is there. Let me take that and hit on next. And uh, let me take all these fields, whatever the fields is required, hit on next and hit on finish. So this table also, we can take it in inside the cube, right click on it, add cube dimension, take this product details and uh, relationship also is there, automatic relationship is there. So we no need to worry about it. I'm just going to redeploy this. Otherwise this product, uh, product details table is not going to get it. Hit on enter. Hit on close. And hit on close. And close this. And there is a browser. Go to this browser. I wanted to see based on the product details table, but product table is not getting here. So within the same place, we can validate the data also. There is an option called refresh. If you wanted to refresh, you can refresh here. You can see the product table. Let me take out this. And I wanted to take the category name. So hit on execute, then it is going to show you the data for these three, cat three categories we're having. And if you take uh, product name or subcategory, then it is going to show you the data based on the subcategory. And even if you can take this uh, product name also, so it is going to generate the behind, it is going to generate the code called MDX script. So we no need to worry about it, how it is going to generate. So how we can use this drag and drop options to generate the M script also, uh, we are going to see it. So in general, this is the way we are going to generate it. So like this, we can create this one. Now I wanted to talk about the dimension uses. So here we are there in the cube structure. We are aware of this one. We need to have more than one dimension minimum is required. And this is the major group we are going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this entire cube again. So I'm going to recreate this cube. Even relationships also I'm going to take out from the data source view. So no, no relationships are going to be existed in the data source view. If it is that the case, then how you're going to handle it that I'm going to show you. So only for two tables, I'm not going to take the relationship, but rest of the tables, I wanted to keep the relationship. So same as as well, I can go and create a, I can go and create a uh, like, you know, new cube with the empty cube only, I'm going to create it. So select this uh, empty cube, hit on next and uh, hit on next. And you can say, 
adventure works you can give adventure works give something like that hit and finish now i'm going to i'm going to add a major group here right click on it new major group or new major if you wanted to add it then what what is the major we need to take it and what is the major table we need to take it so i wanted to take the sales amount hit on next then the fact table is coming to here and there is a only one major is there if you wanted to add one more measure then uh, you can add one more new measure here so that is the tax amount so like this we can add whatever the measures you wanted to take it and then dimensions how the way we have added last time the same to same only there is no change and hit on new dimension click on new hit on new and this time i'm going to take the table called dim promotion let me not dim promotion let's say dim currency hit on next i'm not taking anything hit on next hit on finish now if you go to this cube then the i wanted to add that cube dimension here that is the currency table and now you can see the making relationship between these two tables because it was the relationship was existed in the table itself so i'm going to take the product uh, details also let me add this product data details into the cube diamond into the database dimensions first and uh, this time taking product to details and hit on next hit on next and hit on finish and let's go to the cube and add that cube dimension that is the product details and hit on okay for this also we are having the relationship we don't have any problem and the next dimension table i'm going to take that is a dim promotion table i'm going to take it let's right click on it hit on new dimension hit on next use an existing table and the dimension table is dim promotion hit on next year and again next and finish it so once that is done you can go to the cube and add the dimension to this cube and uh, that is uh, dim promotion a promotion is not having the relationship with the fact table so if you are not having the relationship with the fact table then how you are going to handle it how can you split the data between these two so what happens you just observe i'm just going to deploy this Hit on enter. Close it. Close this and close this one. And if you hit on the browser, if I wanted to see the data based on the category product category, I can see the sales amount. So there is a category table product details table. I don't have a category here. Just imagine. I don't have a category. So how can you take this category is you can go to the table, whatever the table it is, that is a dim product details table. If it is not available, you just go here in the dimensions folder, double click on that uh, dim product details. It is going to open it. So let's take this fields into this attributes window. We can drag and drop it. There is a field is there. Select this one and drag and drop it. And subcategory also you can drag and drop it and product name you can drag and drop at the same time you can also rename this as a, a product like this we can do it and save this one return close and i wanted to do this uh, reprocess hit on s Hit on enter. Hit on close. And hit on close. Close this window. And if you see this one, let's refresh this. And you can see the product category. I can split the data across this product category. In the same way, I'm going to do it for the promotion table also. So promotion type, I wanted to take uh, English promotion type only promotion type. I wanted to take it and uh, 
let's save all now i wanted to do this entire processing for time being at the time of development i am for just making uh, understand i'm doing it so i'll talk about all this deployment and uh, processing what are the concerns are there so pros and cons i'm going to talk about it so now i'm doing it for every time at the time of practicing you can do whenever you want but in real time it's not like that there are some uh, reasons are there and let's go to this uh, dim promotion table i'm not able to say this because uh, i have to refresh this one let's go on dim promotion i'm able to see the dim promotion let's drag and drop it execute this query and if you observe here it is giving the same data only the reason why it is giving same data is even if you attended for power bay we have seen if there is no relationship between the table then 100 percent you are going to get the same volume of data for each and every item when you when you split the data so how it is going to be possible is let's go to this cube structure there is an option called dimension uses so this dimension uses is going to help you to make the relationship dimension uses will help you to make the relationship and in the row side you will be having the dimension tables the list of dimension tables will be there under the column side you will be having the major group if we have a multiple major groups you will be seeing different major groups in the real time it's not like only single major group you will be having multiple major groups and multiple dimension tables also now i wanted to talk about the types of relationships using the dimension uses we can uh, we can decide what kind of relationships we are having that is no relationship between the tables so right now we are having no relationship between dim promotion and uh, fact internet sales and regular relationship reference relationship fact relationship and many to many relationship so no relationship means if there is no relationship between the major group and dimension table then we can call it as a no relationship if you observe here there is no relationship between these two major groups if you hit on it it is saying that no relationship no relationship is existed between the tables so that is about the no relationship and if there is no relationship when you slice and dice the data with respect to with respect to no relationship dimension it shows duplicated data for all rows that is what it is showing in this place duplicated data it is showing for every row and uh, how we are going to make the relationship that i'm going to show you the first relationship is the regular relationship first relationship is regular relationship i'm going to take you and dim customer is there that i'm going to uh, add this table but i'm just going to make the a regular relationship between the dim promotion and uh, a fact internet sales table let's hit on dimension uses we are not having the relationship between these two tables let's hit on this uh, uh, like you know this button whatever the ellipse button we can say so hit on that it is going to open a window so here we are having the types of relationships whatever the types of relationships we listed we're having no relationship regular relationship means relationship means a direct relationship between the two tables so when you have a direct relationship then we can call it as a regular relationship that is one to many relationship one to many relationship many to one relationship everything can be done by using regular only reference relationship i will talk about it where exactly we are going to use it and let me go and take the regular relationship now and we need to choose what is the what is the um, what is the key from the dim promotion table from the dim promotion table promotion key is the granularity attribute granularity means the storing of the data whatever the level you are going to store the data that level we can call it as a granularity if you take a promotion you are storing the data based on the promotion key so the lowest level of granularity for that particular table is promotion if you are storing the data at the date level the lowest level of granularity for the date table is uh, your date only and uh, major group it is going to be selected automatically because we are uh, clicking for that particular major group only so common column between these two tables we need to choose uh, to make the relationship from the dim promotion we are having promotion key from the major group also we need to take the promotion key and then hit on ok now it is it made the relationship and you just go and uh, deploy this again hit on s hit on s hit 
return enter return close close this also close this window as well and if you go to the browser and if you re-execute it it is saying that the cube has been updated on the server so if it is updated we need to refresh it oh my god okay no problem let me take the sales amount again promotion type i'm going to take it from here hit on execute it is going to split the data now because there is a relationship existed that is about the regular relationship that is about the regular relationship and i'm going to add the dim customer table let's go here right click on it hit on new column hit on next hit on existing table so i'm just going to take the table called dim customer table hit on next and uh, i'm just going to take the fields here itself uh, you can also take uh, you can also take at the time of uh, uh, adding the data here first name and last name i'm taking and full name also we have created if you remember as a named calculation let me hit on next and hit on finish so there is a, some duplicates will be available to make it uniqueness for the first name and uh, for first name and last name not for first name and last name if you if you wanted to make it if you if when you have a when you have a duplicate names then uh, we need to make it uh, uniqueness to make it uniqueness uh, select this first name hit on f4 there is a there is a key columns here expand this key columns and uh, hit on this key column it is having the first name here so i wanted to add uh, customer key also to make it uh, uniqueness so it is not going to make it as a duplicated so the name name named calculation when the key column is having like that then the named column we need to take the first name only and for the last name also i'm going to do the same thing let's add this column as a key column and named column i'm going to take as a last name so internally key column is the internal column but uh, uh, named column is going to show you the data here let's uh, let's deploy this again so in the note i have written here clearly deploy the cube if the cube is failed due to duplicate values of uh, first name and last name and then make sure the uh, make uh, then make the uh, make sure make the column as uniqueness make the column as uniqueness by adding the customer key so that is what we have seen how we can add it let me say yes now this time it is going to allow you there will be no problem hit on enter hit on close and hit on close and hit on close and go and uh, go to your cube and hit on the browser and i wanted to say here refresh and uh, what i'm taking dim customer table i'm getting dim customer table but i didn't add it to the cube I have to add it to the cube then only it is going to be available let's take the dim customer table hit on ok and no relationship existed we need to make the relationship here that is regular relationship only because uh, we're having the direct relationship with the uh, fact internet sales so we can make it as a we can treat it as a regular relationship let me hit on ok and uh, let me before that let's save this and deploy it again So deployment and processing is going to be done. Hit on enter. Hit on close. Close this. And now if you go and see the browser here, let's uh, refresh this one. 
now you can find that there is a table called dim customer table you can i can take the marital status and execute this query and you can see the data and even if you wanted to see the data based on the first name also you can see a full name also you can see and even first name also we can keep it if you wanted to keep and uh, last name we can keep it now let's run this one it is going to show you the data like this if you wanted to see it so middle name i'm not taking so middle name also we can take since it is having the full name in the middle name so that is about that dimension and the next type of relationship is two relationships we have seen no relationship regular relationship now we are going to see the reference relationship so reference relationship uh, in uh, uh, in snowflake schema you can see that uh, you will be having three different tables and uh, those three different tables are going to have the uh, some of the tables is going to have the indirect relationship let's go here i'm going to i'm going to the first data source we itself is not available those two tables that is the product uh, uh, product table and uh, dim product dim product category subcategory let me add it right click on the outside hit on add or remove tables so i'm going to take uh, dim product table dim product category and subcategory and you just uh, hit on this side it is going to add these tables here hit on ok so i don't want to make the relationship here let me say arrange the tables oh my god so here is the snowflake schema if you observe okay so product table is having direct relationship with the dim pro, uh, fact internet sales table but i'm just going to take out this relationships here save this one i'm going to add these three tables to the dimensions folder new dimension hit on new next and take this uh, dim product table and uh, hit on next hit on next uh, i wanted to take the subcategory key also to make the relationship with the dim product subcategory table and if you wanted to take any columns you can take the columns else you can leave it hit on next and hit on finish in the same way i'm going to add another dimension that is the subcategory table product subcategory table and here i'm taking product subcategory and product category key also to make the relationship with the product category table english product subcategory name and hit on next and hit on finish let's add another dimension that is the category dimension hit on next it's very simple i'm just adding the different tables here so here no other case is required to make the relationship and i'm just going to take category key and product category name and hit on finish so all the dimensions are done now we need to add those dimensions to the cube i need to add those dimensions to the cube to add those dimensions to the cube we need to go to the cube right click on the cube here add cube dimension and i'm just going to take a product table first hit on ok and the subcategory table i'm going to take and you can also select multiple tables at once at also so i'm having the tables like this i don't care how these tables are there i'll always go and see the relationship so uh, product table and uh, fact internet sales having the direct relationship so we can take a regular relationship here so the relationship is relationship type between those two tables is regular relationship and it is a direct relationship we can say product key from the dim product table and from the major group we are going to take the product key to make the relationship so if you if you process it uh, then you can say let's save this one i'm just going to process it hit on s
hit and close hit and close close this and go to your browser and uh, if i go and refresh this one then you can find there is a product table let me take out all these fails i don't need all these fails i wanted to take the fails from the product table let's take this color and hit and execute and you can see the data the data is splitting that is fine and i need to take the data from the subcategory table also so when you try to take the data from the subcategory table if you execute it it is showing the same duplicated data because we don't have the relationship let's go to this dimension it says so product subcategory table is not having the direct relationship if it is not a direct relationship then we are going to use a reference relationship so let me hit on uh, ellipse button take the relationship as a reference relationship and uh, i wanted to take uh, intermediate dimension so intermediate dimension means uh, like you know this is the fact table this is the fact table and this is the dim product table and this is the dim product subcategory table so intermediate table is this table this is a reference dimension this is a reference dimension and this is an intermediate dimension so reference dimension we can say here uh, dim product subcategory and we need to choose this uh, dim product as a intermediate dimension and let's go here take this dim product and uh, product subcategory k from the reference dimension and from the intermediate dimension also we are going to take the product subcategory k so hit on ok now the relationship is built and let's go and process it again hit on s so deploying and processing is going on one by one hit on enter hit on close hit on close now if you go and browse the data here let's refresh this now i'm just going to run this query again now you can see the data here different numbers we are getting now because we made the relationship in the same way you have to do it the relationship for the category table also if you try to take the category into this browsing let's go to product category table and if i take the category here if i execute it it is not showing the expected data so we need to go to your uh, dimension it says here also we need to make the relationship so this is also going to be reference relationship because it is not having the direct relationship so intermediate dimension this time it is going to be taken as a dim product subcategory as a intermediate dimension and the uh, relationship between these two tables we are having product category key and product category key. Mm. yes product category key okay so we need to take the common column between these two tables let me hit on okay and let's go and process it hit on s hit on s hit on enter let's close this one and close this and hit on close go to your browser and refresh this one and hit on run this code now you can see the different numbers for this uh, product categories so that is about these two different types of relationships here i have given so next uh, we are going to see the fact relationship so fact relationship uh, uh, this many to many relationship if it is possible i'll show you but this is uh, like it's not a direct relationship we are going to have so i'm going to choose a fact relationship now like uh, i wanted to find the number of products uh, number of products so to find the number of products what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a one a major group here so let's say it's not going to be created physically we are not going to create it automatically it is going to create a fact relationship so if any of the dimension table is working as a fact table then uh, we can call it as a uh, we can we can we can see as a relationship type as a fact relationship right click on this major group 
and I wanted to take the new major group that is the product table I'm taking hit on OK and product table is having many columns here. I don't need all this uh, all these columns. I can take out all these columns. I'm just going to keep the only count only product count only I wanted to take it. So now here I'm having I wanted to say it is uh, rename it as product count so if you go and uh, if you go and see the relationship in the dimension it says this is the uh, major group again one more major group and uh, we can say product fact also if you wanted to rename this table you can rename fact product and if you go to this dimension it says so relationship is automatically taken here the relationship type here is fact relationship it is so physically we are not going to create it uh, when the any of the dimension table is working as a fact table then it is going to it is going to work as a it is going to take it as a fact relationship and many to many relationship if uh, many records dimension table is related to many records in the major group then we can call it as a many to many relationship I'll try to take one example um, in the next class. I'm going to show you how we can uh, how we can create a many to many relationship. And if you wanted to rename the column names, I already told you we can rename the columns, whatever the columns you wanted to rename here. OK, so I'm stopping here and tomorrow we are going to see the calculations in the cube. So the calculations tab. So till here structure we have seen dimensions which says we have seen. Next, we are going to see the calculations. Okay, so any doubt here? You need to practice. I'll upload this session later one hour. Just do the practice. It is very important to practice. Okay, guys, thank you for joining.